Hi crafty friends, this is Jen Gross and I want to share with you information about the Rabbit Hole Design Cottontail Embossing Powder Tool. This is a brand new tool to the paper crafting market. It is um, packaged like this and it comes with a tool here and actually some um, powder that we're going to talk about in a little bit. So let's take a look at this and see what is in here. So you have your tool and your powder. And we'll take the tool out of the bag. <clears throat> so it has um, the rabbit hole design logo on it. You pop the cap open and there is a brush on the top here. This sleeve goes up and down so that you can, one, prime the product. Again, it goes up and down so you can prime the product. And two, allows the bristles to compact together so you can push the cap back down. There's also a screw top or screw bottom. And this little jobby here, I'm going to grab a pair of pliers because I find that easier to remove this. This is an additional plug. And this is here to make sure that the powder does not come out of the tube should this cap accidentally loosen up and fall off as you're doing it. So maybe you're brushing and it pops off, the powder's still gonna stay in here. So this is the vessel that holds the powder. It comes out of the brush. The brush is used um, to go ahead and put the product on your paper or whatever you're going to be embossing. So again, the lid comes up, the cap goes on, and the bristles are all intact and you've got the vessel here. Now, this paperwork that comes with it has all the great instructions and details. What's great about this product is you can actually clean it. Um, you can wash it, dry it, and, and reuse it if it gets a little, um, if, you know, if it gets clogged up, if, it, if you want to change the type of powder that's in there, you have that option. So um, before I get into so many details with this, this, let's set this aside and let's take a look <laughs> <laughs> get some of the packaging out of the way at what we normally use for a tool when we're doing embossing and it's the anti-static bag and I keep mine in here because it's very powdery and look at that that bag here let me grab a you can see how much powder has um, kind of come off in there it's made this very um, filmy um, and then here is the bag itself it is a drawstring bag and it has the powder in it. And you can actually see that the powder is already coming off on my fingertips. So typically the use is to pounce it on what you're doing, but check that out. That gives you a lot of powder. You can also swipe it across, which is less. But, you know, as you're using different colored paper, I mean, really look what that's doing to the paper. For one thing, you're touching this pouch. And there are oils and, um, you know, no matter how while we clean our hands, there's always going to be some sort of dirt or debris. So as you touch this bag, that releases onto the actual sack itself. And so the powder that's in here, whether it's a baby powder, a, a talc, um, whatever, um, you know, formulation that the um, craft tool it uses, it's going to start coming out through here where you've already touched and you've already contaminated it. So these tend to um, get gooked up over time. You might get a little bit of dirt on them. There's things here that you don't see because they are still, there's still oils in our fingertips. So I'm going to set that aside. But again, this, um, even if I went, let's see, I'll grab here. You know, if I wanted to emboss on this, then you can kind of you can brush the powder, but it all, it never really totally comes off. Um, sometimes I actually take a baby wipe, which might not be good. You can um, wipe it with a dry towel, but again, you still have just a tad bit of that powder on there. So you see the streaks. Let me go ahead and bring out the embossing tool again for the Rabbit Hole Design Cottontail Embossing Tool. And we'll take a look here a little bit closer at these instructions. So again, I was going over some of the reasons why most of the powder tools fail us. It talks about it right here. You know, traditional bag spring leaks, the stitching comes undone, powder um, 
And then there's some of the powder administrators that are really fine bristle points at the tip, but those are also hard bristle points. And so they tend to um, become tangled in the cap. They might break off. Um, so I think, you know, they say the number one complaint that crafters have is that you've got stray powder all over your project. And that's not what we want to do. Um, Again, here's a fun fact. We always leave fingerprint marks even when we cannot see them. That's because our skin produces sweat and oils. Even after washing and drying our hands, the skin is already in the process of producing sweat and oils on our fingertips and hands. So again, we um, want to keep our, our space clean and have an applicator that's going to be able to do that for us. So the um, th what makes this one different is that it's easy to use and I'm going to fill it up and show you how to prime it because there is a special way that you need to prime it um, so that you can get it ready for use. The powder that the rabbit hole design is using is very different than a talc and it's very different than a baby powder. One, it has no smell. Two, it is a pharmaceutical grade clay that is used in cosmetics and so it's super super fine. Um, it's not going to smell like I said. It's not going to, um, once we get the tool primed, it's not going to leave a lot of residue and it almost will look like you're not using anything. So this clay is available in the shop. It comes with the tool. So this is what you get in the package again with, with the directions. So you're going to be good to go. So let's go ahead and fill this up. You know, I mentioned that it's pharmaceutical grade. It was very important that the rabbit hole design have something that all crafters can use for, you know, those that might have allergies and everything. So as you saw, I took my, my um, I don't squeeze this very tight. I just kind of grab a hold and twist and pop this off. We'll set that aside. And then we're going to go ahead and take this tube. I tap it down because you've got the lid up here and you want to get make sure that all that powder is, is lower than the lid. So now we've got the powder and you can see this is really a fine powder. I'm going to just tap maybe a little bit out here. Oop, there we go. So you can see that this is, whoops, there we go. Get in there. That That's a really fine powder. And it actually feels very silky. So no smell to it. So we just go ahead and we just dump that in there. Tap, tap, tap. Make sure that it's getting all out. And you might have a little bit more that stays in that tube, and that's okay. So you can, whoops, wrong lid. <laughs> you can go ahead and screw that lid back on. It, it gives you the milliliters there. You can save this for something else. Um, and now let's go ahead and put that safety cap back on. So put the safety cap on, and then I'm going to make sure that I've squeezed it down. Okay, so now that cap is on. And that powder is in there. This actually, um, when you pull this out, look, there's a lot of powder that's in there. I'm going to take this lid off right now because I don't want to prime it just yet. So, um, so that is more than enough powder to use on several, several projects. So let's go ahead and screw the bottom back on. And now we're ready to go ahead and prime this tool. So again, all the powder's in here. The secure tab is in there for the plug the lid or lid or the bottom is screwed on and you've got this. Now priming the tool is really simple. When you prime the tool, the cap is on and you push it down and that brings the powder up into the bristles. Now for these first few times, there's no powder in the bristles. So we really are going to, I'm going to show you what's going to happen here. So let's take out that cardstock again that I had the dark cardstock. Okay. So I'm going to turn it to the other side. So now I've got the cap on let's, and it's the the shaft is is all the way up at the top so that the bristles now are in this shaft area and now I'm going to prime it that primes the product but this is the first time we're using it also so there is no powder in here except the little bit of powder that just puffed up in there so let's do this one more time okay so let's take the lid off and you see there is a very very fine dot okay so let's do that one more time there we go okay so I don't know if you can see that right there. That's where the powder is coming out of. So these are fine bristles and the bristles, um, let me put the cap so it doesn't roll. The, let's see here also. Let me grab a piece of paper. So the bristles, so you see this is a flexible brush, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and we're going to prime it. Now this first time you're going to start seeing powder coming out. Okay. 
that's important. You want to make sure that the powder is getting into the brush. See, there's another poof of powder. You can see that one even better. And so you see that we are getting some residue on here right now. But this is what you're doing. You're priming your brush. You're making sure that that, that clay is getting into the bristles. And that's what we want. We want, the, we want this clay to come up through the shaft and into the bristles. So you might have a little bit more debris at the very beginning than what you expect. And so what I do, and you kind of see it, it's, it's coming out and it's enveloping in those bristles. So I'm going to do this one more time. Go ahead and and prime it and you only need to do that once in between if you do that once and set it aside and come back a week later it is still primed and ready to go you don't need to up and down with that shaft at all so let's go ahead and yeah see now you see that the powder is starting to permeate those bristles it comes out that is natural that is exactly what's supposed to happen when you first start using this tool so give it one or two uh, maybe even three tries just to get it primed and get that powder through the bristles so once you have that done and the powder has permeated the bristles you're able to go on and just brush back and forth on your piece of cardstock and you are primed now let's go ahead and take our bag again and and go ahead and prime that we'll pounce it a little bit nope <laughs> I hate the pouncing part um, but you can definitely whoops sorry see the difference here with the rabbit hole design powder tool and with the embossing bag I'm going to go ahead and um, share some additional videos here in a little bit but this is how you get the tool ready to go and the very difference that you see when you're utilizing the tool again when you go to emboss something would you rather have it emboss on something that that it looks like this that is primed and doesn't have the static or would you rather have it embossed on something that looks like this that you um, brush in several different ways and it still has that faded area on your paper let's prime the tool once again cap up lid on push down it's ready to go for the next time so you set that aside so that's the cotton tail embossing powder tool and how to get it primed and started for your projects Thanks so much, and we'll get back with you with another video and demos on how you can do some really cool embossing. I've done it on heat acetate. I've used a variety of different embossing powders with glitter, with um, the, um, the, there's that, uh, what do you call it? It's kind of like a glow, a pearlescence, and they come out amazing. So I will share that in my next video. Thanks, and have a good day.